even though I am a sinner, even though I've I've made mistakes, even though I'm making mistakes, even though um, I'm I'm just far from the the perfection of God, even though those things are true, God still loves me. He loves me unconditionally, and He gives me grace. And by grace, I've I've been saved through faith in Him. So so all that is true, absolutely all that is true. But the grace of God is not a license to sin. The grace of God is not a license to live however way you want to live. The grace of God is a freedom to become who he's called you to be. So many people are trying to live a life of sin, no sin, perform or don't perform, that we miss on the fact that it is not about what we do, it's about who we are. And if we're transformed by who we are, then it will inform what we do because our minds are still set on performing for God. And that's why I'm trying to break that mold to get you past this whole idea of, I got to perform for God's love. I got to perform for God's love. I got to perform for God's love. If I'm not performing, God's not going to love me. God loves you anyway. It doesn't matter whether you perform, whether you're not God, whether or not you perform, God loves you anyway. However, because of who you are, because of who God has transformed you to be, because of his love and his grace, he exposes the true nature of who you are, that that person who you were before is a dead person pursuing and chasing after dead things, which is why sin leads to death. And he's offering you a life that is in abundance, that you can live in freedom to freely be who you want to be. And in doing so, it changes how you live and how you act. So I don't behave for God's acceptance. I'm accepted by God regardless of whether I behave. But when I am overwhelmed and consumed and I grow in my knowledge and awareness of who he is and who I am in him, it begins to change the way that I behave. Too many folks are trying to behave for righteousness, not live out of the righteousness that God has freely given to you. (sighs) For if we have been united together in the likeness of his death, certainly we also shall be in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that our body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. So what is God giving us access to is freedom from sin. Ready for this? Sin over promises under delivers. It gives us short-term pleasures at long-term costs. And many of us, we know this, and yet we still fall to it every time. We know the consequences, and yet we still do it. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Because we've been burdened. We are slaves of it because we're living on a performance plane. We are living on a performance platform. We're living in the dimension of I need to perform to be accepted. I need to perform to be received. I need to perform. I need to prove myself, prove myself, prove myself. I need to be this. And because we're in this performance dimension, we find ourselves in this loop of death. It's the cheater that can't stop cheating. Yeah. It's the one who knows, man, I would just love to live a life where I don't have to worry about my wife looking at my phone. Wouldn't that be a great life? Uh, I don't have to worry about, you know, um, you know, I don't have to, you know, have multiple stories and and multiple things that I have to keep in my mind because I can just be free and just being who I am, authentically who I am. I can just be free. I know the the cheaters know because I've spoken to plenty of them. That's actually what they want. And yet they continue to fall back and back over and over again 
to this life that they know doesn't give them freedom, but burdens them. They are slaves to performance. There's no freedom in that. And what does he say? He's saying, if you would die to yourself, die to, and again, we, we don't have time to unpack everything that's going on there. I just use that as an example, but we can use it in every other, we can use every other example here. We can, we can throw any other example in this and it still applies is that many of us, we know the consequences of our things and we still live this life of perpetual performance for God. We're performing, 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 failing, performing, failing, death, misperforming, failing, death, performing, failing, death. We lose people, lose friends, hurt people. We do it. We try to do better, but then we hurt people again. We try to do better, but then hurt people again, not realizing we're just living in a pattern because what hasn't been transformed yet is our heart. And the only way our heart can be transformed is through Christ. 